in this video we are going to see the first step that a player must take before playing in a rated tournament in a fide rated tournament registering at ASCF and then we will also see how to find and register in fide rated tournaments of your convenience and then we will see how to get a fide id getting a fide id is very simple you have to just follow two steps first you have to register in your country's chess federation for india the chess federation is aicf and for usa uscf and so on once you register for in your country's chess federation let's say aicf india through their website next what you need to do is you have to register for a chess tournament a fide rated chess tournament and play in that chess tournament so the first step is going to the all india chess federation website and once you go there you can see players new player registration so to go to the website you have to type aicf.in and you will be taken to the aicf website now players new player registration you have to click on it and you will see all the details to be filled here once you fill all these details a fide id is not something you can fill right now because you don't have it yet so once you fill all these details you will also have to upload passport size photo and birth certificate for birth certificate you can even upload documents which have your date of birth in it but it would be good if you can upload the certificate itself so once you do these things uh, you can click on submit form and the website will take you to the payment page for aicf the fees per year the registration fees per year it renews every april it is rupees 250 per year and once that is done you will have your aicf id and with that you can now register for a tournament and play in a tournament now how do you find tournaments that are federated so on the aic website if you go to home you will see calendar you can click on all events and then you will see the list of tournaments rated tournaments federated tournaments you can see the tournaments happening soon like in recent times and the venue is over here. So you can choose tournaments which are convenient for you. And uh, if you are interested in any tournament, you can click on the brochure. For example, you download this one. This is happening September 1 to 9. And once it is downloaded, you can see all the details. So how to register for this tournament, you can see in the brochure itself. All the details will be there in the brochure. Venue, time, time control, prices, which is very important, and eligibility. So entry fees. So generally the entry fees for a classical rated tournament would be around 2000 to 3000. And for a rapid event, it will be around 1000. So once you complete the registration by paying the entry fee and then giving the details, which will be different for different tournaments, the procedure to follow, but basically it is just paying the fee and emailing them the entry, like with details of AICF ID, your name, a date of birth, etc. Once you do that, all you have to do is go to the venue at the day of the tournament and start playing. Now, once you play in a tournament, the organizers or the arbiters will register your name in FIDE and in two days, you will have your FIDE, FIDE ID. So this is how you can get a FIDE ID. So first time players, the experience of playing in your first FIDE rated tournament can be a bit overwhelming. This is how a tournament venue would look like like the venue would be totally silent, quiet, everyone would be focused and everybody wants to win. It's a very competitive environment. You can feel the tension in the air, but uh, it's important to just play it calm and cool and uh, give your best shot. It's very difficult to get a FIDE rating in the first tournament itself. It will take a few tournaments for you to defeat rated players and get FIDE rating. Once your FIDE ID is created after the organizers register your name in, in FIDE, you can check your ID and your profile on FIDE by just going to the FIDE website, which is FIDE.com. So this is the FIDE homepage. You can go to either ratings or you can just type your name here and search for your profile. So for example, if I type my name, you will see this result comes up. I click on my name and it will take, take me to the profile, to my profile. So this is my profile. Here you can see my standard rating, which is classical rating, rapid rating, blitz rating. So if your ID is just created and it's your first tournament, uh, so the few days afterwards, you will just see rating a zero. 
or none right only if you defeat rated players and get a rating then from the next month onwards you will see your rating over here rapid standard or blitz you can also see your rating uh, progress and your individual calculations everything will be on your profile and uh, because i registered long back I, i don't have my profile picture but nowadays when you register your profile pic will also be added when they create your profile in fide i must also add that each of these states so whichever state you are in you're living in they also charge an annual fee of rupees 100 which renews every uh, january that also needs to be paid when you're playing your first tournament and then once you pay it the next january you have to pay it again so your respective states will also need a fee of rupees 100 uh, when you're playing your first tournament and if you belong to any other country if you're living in any other country they have their own chess federations for example us chess players have to go to uscf website which is uschess.org and once you go there you will see join become a member and once you click on become a member you will be able to see the different options available and you can select any of them and continue the process